Welcome back to my channel, Smoking and Grilling, and today we air frying with me, A.V. In this video, we're gonna make some delicious pork chops. So look, I'm gonna go ahead and just show you right now. Here they are. And then you can see the ingredients right here. There's not that many. Hey, when I tell you this is gonna be easy, they're gonna be delicious, they're gonna turn out juicy. Listen, so look, we got black pepper, a little kosher salt. I'm using J.O. seasoning. I get a lot of uh, comments, you know, people, uh, questions asking me, they keep asking me, you know, like, hey, what is that jail? Listen, it's hard to find. I'm working on it, everybody, to make it available across, you know, to everyone. But this is my season all. You can use anything you like, uh, like uh, Laurie seasoning salt. Just use your favorite seasoning. We got buttermilk, and then we got all-purpose flour. And you already met the two stars, the pork chops. So let me go ahead and get my uh, air fryer. This is gonna be easy to follow. You know what I mean? I'm gonna, I'm gonna explain it. I'm gonna put the recipe in the description box below. Let me get my air fryer and let's make it happen. Okay, look, now we're gonna go ahead and get this set up. Put the pork chop up top. Okay, now I got my station set up. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, season these chops first. My all season. This is my J.O. I like to season my chops first. You know what I mean? Put some uh, season on here and I add some seasoning onto the, uh, into the flour. Repeat. Now, look, I'm gonna go ahead and pour the rest of this in here. After pouring all of your seasonings into your flour, you just wanna make sure you got it mixed well. We're gonna go with the buttermilk. We'll just put it here in this flat plate right here. When you dip your pork chops into your buttermilk, you want to make sure you coat the edges. That way when you apply your uh, your flour, you want it to get all over, you know, completely. That's where you see I'm using that spoon. Excess flour. We go right over here to the air fryer. Listen, there's nothing wrong with you stacking them. I don't stack them. You know what I mean? I just like to, you know, just for the size and everything. I got them on a rack in the inside and I like to keep them with a little space. You know what I mean? Uh, I could have put three in here, but this, you know, and again, you can stack them. I made them like that when I do family uh, packs of pork chops, but that's my setup right there. Okay, once you got them on your rack and you got everything set, I take a little cooking spray and listen, I just spray lightly on the top just to help them get that golden brown that's it nothing too heavy let's go ahead and close the lid hit power we're gonna set our time 15 minutes and then the temperature we're gonna go at 390 degrees it's that simple there you see, lights up. You can see in this model here, your lights up, you can actually see in the inside. And then listen, we'll take a look at it again in about like, maybe about seven and a half minutes just to see how it's cooking. But we're gonna do 15 minutes on this side. We're gonna open it up, turn it over. You know what I mean? See how it's cooking on the bottom side. Then we're gonna go for another 10. So 25 minutes total. check those out if these aren't some good looking pork chops i don't know what is you know what i mean uh, hey lynn listen you can tell everybody that have all these questions like can you get a good air fried pork chop after you do this this way hey you can tell them yes sir hey, look it's that simple 
you seen how these look when they come out of the air fryer you know what i mean uh these are like just hey i can just see them they're gonna be uh, like super juicy and listen you can go ahead and adjust your temperature like i went with the 390 degrees you can go with 410 you can go with you know when we flipped them over for the second time you can go with instead of going 10 minutes you can add you know two or three extra more minutes if you want it to be a little bit more crispy but if me i like mine to be tender juicy and uh, hey listen enough talk let's go ahead and uh, cut one of these open and let's get right into it oh man you can see how tender that is look Whew, look at that. When I tell you tender, juicy, look. Oh, man. Work with me. Listen, I don't want to be rude and keep eating and chewing and, you know, trying to talk. Listen, make these. I'm sure you'll be happy with the outcome. Listen, the key isn't like, make sure, listen, the texture is there using the air fryer. But what you really want to do is, you want to make sure that you season your flour and then make sure you put a little seasoning onto your pork chop. Outside of that, I can't tell you, I can't really say nothing, but hey, you got to try it. So listen, leave me a comment down in the, uh, the comment section down below and let me know, you know, what you guys think of this. I think this right here, this is another go getter. You know what I mean? Uh, other than that, I want to say, hey, thank you for watching. If you're new to the channel, you know, I'm going to go ahead and just say welcome. Don't forget to subscribe. You know what? You guys that haven't hit the bell, hit the bell. Because listen, I got a lot of things like this coming, you know, in the near future. So let's get it in. I'm out. Peace.